celebration of the Epiphany, the Garibaldi Meucci Museum welcomes you to join us for a reading of an Italian-American Christmas classic, The Legend of Old Bufana. An Italian Christmas story retold and illustrated by Tommy De Paola. Every year on the Feast of the Three Kings, January the 6th, Old Bufana visits all the children of Italy and leaves them candies, cookies, and gifts. It is said that she is searching for the Christ child. There are many stories about Old Bufana and how she began her search. This is one of them. In a small house on the outskirts of a small village in Italy lived Old Bufana. She lived all alone and she wasn't very friendly. If any people dared to knock at her door, she never asked them in. I have no time for visiting, Old Bufana would say. The children didn't like her either. Cranky old lady, they said. And the way she's always sweeping. That was true. Every day, every morning and afternoon, Old Bufana would sweep with her broom. She swept her little house, she swept her front step, and she even swept her walk all the way down to the road. Sometimes, a delicious smell of things baking would drift from Old Bufana's house. Whom does she bake for, her neighbors would ask. And some nights, they thought they heard her singing lullabies. Crazy Old Bufana, everybody called her. One evening, after Old Bufana had eaten her dinner and swept her kitchen clean, she began to get ready for bed. She locked the door and shuttered the windows. Then, she climbed into her bed, blew out the lamp, and fell asleep. In the middle of the night, Old Bufana woke up. The room was bright. How can that be, she asked. My lamp is out. My windows are shuttered. But still, my house is filled with light. She got out of bed and crossed the cold floor. When she opened the shutter, a sudden burst of light poured into the room. In the eastern sky, she saw a brilliant star, which seemed to grow before her eyes. Harumph, said Old Bufana, closing the shutter as tightly as she could. How am I ever to get my sleep when the dark has turned to day? All night she tossed and turned. She didn't sleep a wink. At dawn, Old Bufana got up and dressed. She ate her breakfast, then took her broom, as she always did, every day, every morning, and afternoon. She swept her little house, she swept her front step, she even swept the walk all the way down to the road. When she neared the road, Old Bufana stopped and listened. She heard bells tinkling. It's probably just the wind, she said. Sweep, sweep, sweep. Again, she heard the bells. It's probably just the birds singing. Sweep, sweep, sweep. Once more, she heard the sound. My old ears play tricks, she said. Sweep, sweep. Suddenly, over the hill came the most glorious procession Old Bufana had ever seen. Camels, horses, elephants, and people. A splendid sight. Halfway back rode three royal-looking men, dressed in jeweled robes, wearing crowns upon their heads. The procession stopped. The three kings got down and came up to a frowning Old Bufana. Please, said one of the kings in a royal voice, is this the way to Bethlehem? How can I say, said Old Bufana. I never heard of it. And she began to sweep. You're searching for the child, said the second king. Do you know of him? There are many children, said Old Bufana, sweeping still. But this one is a king, said the third. I know nothing of royal matters, she said. Our books have told us, said the kings, that when a bright new star appears, the child king will be born in Bethlehem. The star I have seen, said Old Bufana, it kept me awake all night. Now, if you will excuse me, I have work to do. The procession started up again. Old woman, cried a boy who was leading a camel by. You should come with us. This child, this baby king, has come to change the world. He comes for us. He comes for the poor. We are bringing him gifts. Old Bufana paused. She watched the procession wind down the road. Child king, she muttered. Bethlehem. Sweep, sweep, sweep. Coming to change the world. Coming for the poor. Well, heavens knows. Old Bufana is poor. Sweep, sweep. Gifts. Only a 
child. Old Bufano went back into the house. Perhaps I should go see him, but what do I have to take him? She put down her broom. She got out some butter and sugar and flour. She blew on the fire and added some wood, and she began to sing. She baked all day. She didn't even sweep. It was almost dark when she finished. Then she filled a basket with all the cakes, cookies, and candies she had made. I'll take a few coals in a little pot to keep the cookies warm, she said. She put on a shawl and opened the door. And I'll take along my broom to sweep the room clean for the baby king's mother, who will be tired. Old Bufana stopped. She hadn't swept all day. It won't take me long, she said. She put down the basket and began to sweep. She swept her little house, she swept her front step, and she even swept her walk all the way down to the road. Then she locked her door and gathered up her basket. She pulled her shawl around her and took up her broom. Old Bufana was on her way at last. She ran at first, ran and ran, as fast as her legs would carry her. The sun had set, but she still ran. Now the star shone brightly. Her breath came short, her old legs ached, but still she ran a little bit slower. At last, she sat beside the road. Old Bufana could run no more. I should have left earlier. I'll never catch up, she cried. And where is Bethlehem? She closed her eyes and gave a long sigh. I'll never find the baby king. Suddenly, the sky was filled with light and heavenly angels sang. Glory to all men! The new king is born. Tonight is the night of miracles. Old Bufana rose to her feet. Tell me, tell me where he is, she cried, picking up her basket and broom. I bring gifts to the child. She began to walk, then run again. This is the night of miracles, the angel said once more. Wait, she shouted. You must help me. Show me the way to Bethlehem. Old Bufana began to feel lighter. She ran faster and faster, so fast it took her breath away. She was running in the sky. It was a night of miracles. Old Bufana never caught up, alas. She never found the child in Bethlehem, but she is searching still to this day. Every year on the Feast of the Three Kings, January the 6th, Old Bufana runs across the sky. She visits all children while they sleep and leaves them gifts from her basket. Then she takes her broom and sweeps the room all clean. For after all, says old Bufana, I never know which child might be the baby king of Bethlehem.